Welcome back to this video series about microchips fan controllers. In this video, we'll talk about one of our fan controllers in greater detail, the EMC 2305. By the end of this video series, you'll be able to design your own fan application using the EMC 2305 or any of the EMC 230X devices. First, we'll take a look at what the EMC 2305 has to offer and some basic peripheral circuitry necessary to get the part up and running. Then we'll take a closer look at the EMC 2305 evaluation board that was mentioned in the previous video. The EMC 2305 can control up to five different fans at a time. For each fan, the EMC 2300X has inputs for TAC signal and outputs for a PWM signal. A pull-up resistor on each TAC line is required and a typical value to use is 10 kilo ohms. You can communicate with the EMC 230X family using I2C or SM bus, so it has these clock and data lines which also require pull-up resistors. The address select pin is only on the EMC 2303 and 2305 and is used to determine the SM bus client address. Table 5-1 in the data sheet contains the available SM bus addresses and the associated pull-up resistors. The clock pin is used to supply an external 32.768 kHz clock to the part or to output the internal clock to synchronize with other fan controllers. On the EMC 2303 and 2305, a pull-up resistor on the clock pin can be used to set the default fan speed on power-up. Table 4-9 in the datasheet shows the resistance values and fan speed options. To use this functionality, You'll need a 33 kilo ohm resistor on the address select pin, and then you can select a default fan speed using a pull up resistor from the table on the clock pin. This default speed is the speed the fan will go upon power up. The alert pin is an active low pin that requires a pull up resistor. When this pin is set, it could indicate a few things. One, the target fan speed couldn't be reached within a defined band of tack counts at a maximum drive, which indicates an aged fan. Two, the fan driver detected a stalled or stuck fan. And three, the watchdog timer expired. We'll talk more about this watchdog timer in later videos. The alert pin can be used as an interrupt. The EMC 2305 evaluation board shows this with a simple LED resistor circuit that lights up when the pin asserts. Finally, it's always a good idea to have a bypass capacitor connecting VDD and ground to reduce noise. A typical value for this is 0.1 microfarads. Now that we've gone over the essential passive components needed to get the EMC 2305 up and running, we can go over the EMC 2305 evaluation board, which we briefly mentioned in the previous video. The EMC 2305 evaluation board connects to your PC using the MCP2221A, an I2C to USB bridge. To power the fan on the board, you'll need to supply 12 volts to the board here. The board has the EMC1438, which is a multi-channel temperature sensor that is used in conjunction with the EMC2305 to create a typical fan controller application demo. There are a few terminals here that allows you to connect diode connected transistors to the EMC1438 to measure temperature off the board. There's an onboard transistor that is used as a heat source alongside another transistor that is used by the EMC1438 to measure its temperature. The thermal management utility, the graphical user interface for this board, can keep the temperature of the transistor within a specified limit using the speed of the fan as the method of control. Included on the board is an optional fan driver circuit, which is used for three-wire fans that do not have their own driver circuits built into them. This fan driver circuit uses a simple buck converter configuration to convert the PWM signal from the EMC2305 into a voltage that looks more DC. If you're going to use the fan that came with the evaluation board, you'll need to use the onboard fan driver by populating the respective header with a jumper like this. If you have a different fan you'd like to control with the EMC2305, connect it to one of the fan channels through the 4-pin terminal. Remember to enable or disable the onboard fan driver depending on the fan you use. 
Also make sure to plug in your fan to a terminal on the board before supplying 12 volts to the board. Now that you're more familiar with the EMC2305 and its evaluation board, in the next few videos, we'll talk more about the EMC230X functions and how to use this evaluation board along with the thermal management utility to demonstrate these functions.